From next month, the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources will begin a timber tracking system which will monitor timber from the forest to the international market. This is to ensure that loopholes in the industry are blocked for government to rake in maximum revenue. Deputy Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, Mr. Kwejo Owusu Ajeman, disclosed this when he inspected some roast wood ready for export under suspicious circumstances. Estimated that Ghana loses over $100 million as a result of illegal chainsaw operations and illegal exploitation of timber annually. Experts have attributed this to weak laws and non-enforcement of the laws. A recent development is the illegal exportation of rosewood to China, denying the state of the required revenue. The Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources therefore placed a ban on the activities of illegal chainsaw operators and illegal exportation of timber and the rose root. Although the ban is in force, 64 containers of rose root undergoing documentation for export had been arrested through the timely intervention of the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources. This was disclosed by the, the Deputy Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, Mr. Kwejo owusu who was at the port to inspect the containers that were stopped from being exported. Tracking is not difficult because you must have presented yourself or your documents to the port authorities for the port authorities to ship for you. So that we know. Uh, the first thing is that they are going to be confiscated. And then we will allow the law to take its natural course, i.e., the individuals involved will also be reported to the uh, police and the necessary authorities for them to go through the law. But as far as the products are concerned, if they are found to indeed be illegal, they will be confiscated. The acting director at the Tema port, Captain James Ousu Krantin, hinted security at the port will be strengthened to prevent the state from further losing revenue. As we speak now, we are in tandem with national security, the police, customs um, and then even the shipping agents so that any container set to contain wood will have to be inspected, will have to be viewed. We are no more depending only upon the documentation. The documents are submitted, we examine the documents and after that we cite the containers before we would allow it to come into the port. Currently, only 35 to 40 percent of felled timber is processed or converted, which is the only figure from which the government gets revenue. The government is therefore exploring ways of properly managing the resources for the benefit of all Ghanaians.